Hello, welcome back to VS Live. In this episode, I will be sharing with you the process of uh, how I created this um, AR that's actually using video texture. So this is possible on iOS 14 or iPad OS 14. Um, after WWDC 2020, uh, we actually have this feature of being able to simply using video as a texture for 3D objects. Um, yeah, you need to use iPhone and iPad, but it's, uh, it's still quite interesting. And I'll show you the process using uh, how I created this using Blender. So you might notice that the texture is actually um, the Voronoi 4D texture of cycles, right? And this is only really short, like six seconds. I should make it longer or make it looping um, in Xcode. But anyway, so let's see how I created this. So first of all, in Blender, this is just like the default cube, and I subdivide it twice. The first one using simple, second one using Cutmo Clark, so we get this nice rounded edges. And so of course, I give it a shader. This is the the basic Voronoi texture with set to 40. When you set it to 40. You can animate it using this W parameter. So if I scrub, you can see the W is changing. How is this possible? It's uh, Some people say, OK, use drivers, but I'm using animation nodes. So it's, uh, it's really handy for this. So basically, I my mouse is hovering here, and if, if I go command option control shift and then C I can actually copy that and paste it here into expression node okay this this long thing is just from here and I'm uh, influencing it using the X so I'm feeding the X value the X value itself is from frame numbers multiplied by ma and anyway it, this will control the Voronoi 4D. So I can have like 1000 frames and make it animating. Okay, the next thing we want uh, you want to do is how I can bake it, bake it out. So this is interesting, right? Normally you don't bake out texture this way. Uh, and Blender does used to have uh, this uh, texture baking, uh, like multiple frames sequence baking in the in the past, it's actually used to be under preference add-on. But in recent ones, it hasn't been updated. You can have this actually if you search for it online. You can have it. So if you search animated bake render bake. Jenny Carhu actually made one. So once you once you download this Python script, you can install it as an add-on. And it should be appearing. Oh yeah. It should be appearing like this. So you can find it online for now. Once you have this, you bake it out. So basically you have these objects being selected and you want to simply just hit animated bake so you bake out this effort changing texture as uh, images sequence of images so sequences uh, of images is gonna look like this and I can scrub I can change the Texture you can see it's uh, it's like a cross because it's the UV of the box, and then after we have the sequence of images in Blender, I I go to new video editing, and I simply bring back the image sequence into Blender, so it's easy. I can add movie or sound. I can set up the the resolutions, uh, things like that. So I'll show you. Oops. Okay. image sequence desktop 
render so just bring it in so this should be set to 1080 i have my own setup so it's already okay 1020 uh 1024 by 1024 this is maybe 240 frame memory 24. um what's important is probably the output <clears throat> so the dimension so the output needs to be ff mpeg video encoding should be set to mp4 maybe this is high quality audio aac okay this will work so render render animations or bring bring your own audio audio if you like so the the result will be this one on so we, we've taken care of this and so the next thing to do is to apply this as something that can work as an AR okay so I use Xcode for that and currently still beta because WWDC was just started on Monday US time uh, I have this example it's kind of still work in progress I'm trying to make the video looping uh, but uh, uh, for the app itself I'm actually following this tutorial by Ethan okay so you need to supply video texture that you're gonna apply it into um, AR objects in Ethan's example he is using he generate the plane and simply applying video materials into the plane so we, we, we try to get into a little bit of Swift code here so anyway I, I create a new project a new project and then make it sure it's augmented reality app and then next next you get this template in my setup it's basically looking it's a little bit like this the looper still doesn't work but I'm simply loading uh, my 3D object. So from from Blender, I export it out as GLB and then convert it into USDZ because that's that's Apple AR objects. And currently, if I open it up, so it's actually just a uh, appear like this black box. Um, let's see. So this is the export from Blender. Just simple shiny black box what I'll do with Xcode with and Swift is to simply load this object into Xcode this is interesting uh, this object actually if you dig inside it uh, hierarchy select so you, you need to know this there's this USD scene and there's something called master this is actually from blender it will recognize this I will take note of this name master that's how I name it inside blender and in Xcode after I load the uh, RC project here the RC project is inside the Xcode you load the, uh, the experience assets uh, this is the scene name, right? Load box, and then still have the monkey head. I have to change that, but find an entity called master. So this master, the name is coming from Blender when you export it out as USD or USDZ. And then I'm applying the video material uh, this way. So basically, the one that actually works is this one, these lines over here. The next lines this looping thing doesn't quite work yet so basically we get the looping video clips I, I name it for noise mood type of mp4 that's I simply drag and drop into this Xcode project and let it find the address of the URL of the video blah 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 and then uh, attaching it into AV player and attaching the AV player as a video material this is the one that's actually doing the job 
once this has become a video material, you're simply applying it into your model like that. And so uh, the video, the output of AR video doesn't have any kind of PBR shading. PBR shading doesn't work with, you know, it's not like you can simply animate PBR, it's a, a bit crazy, but uh, we, we're gonna overlay it with the video anyway, so it's gonna be like emission shaded. So, uh, this box get appended into the anchor of AR and then I'm enabling occlusion, let it receive lighting, but it's, it's not gonna have shading anyway, but it's gonna have shadow. The occlusion thing comes with AR kit, and this is just extra things to enable AR kit occlusions for human, and finally play back the video material. Yeah, so that's a uh, that's basically the whole process. I make this video so I can remember this in the past, uh, in the future. If I watch this again and try to do it, and and I forgot how to do it. But yeah, the whole process is exactly like that. You prepare your 3D assets, make sure the UV is correct. Um, with my example, of course, it's just a basic cube. So this this guy named Master and the UV, if you check it out. Okay, it's just basically default box, default cube uh, UV. So that will get transferred into the AR. So yeah, you can choose any kind of uh, any different model and it's gonna apply the texture into it right away. So it's very easy to do once you have the template. So yeah, the whole process uh, it's interesting I, ho I hope and useful for you uh, in the future. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.